Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States has recently lost another round, which may be making it uneasy. Recently, China successfully developed the world's first adaptive, full-band, high-speed wireless communication chip based on optoelectronic fusion integration technology. This achievement is of great and far-reaching significance. It not only symbolizes the acceleration of the development of 6G communications, but also lays a solid hardware foundation for AI native networks. From a macro and long-term perspective, this achievement will drive profound changes in the entire industry chain, from materials and devices to complete devices and networks. Foreign media have also declared, the outcome of the chip war is decided. Coincidentally, Alibaba's recent financial report revealed new information about its AI chip. It is understood that this newly developed AI chip is comparable to NVIDIA's H20 and does not use TSMC's technology. Looking back at China's numerous breakthroughs in the chip field in recent years, it is easy to understand the perspective expressed by American economist David Paul Goldman in an interview. He believes that the chip war instigated by the United States will only prompt China to invest massive resources and make an all-out effort to catch up with the current technological level of Western countries. He further pointed out that once China successfully achieves mass production of chips, its superior quality and affordability will inevitably lead to a rapid capture of global market share. This suggests that the chip war, initiated by the United States, in its final stages, is highly likely to backfire on the United States. In fact, cautionary tales like these regarding chips have occurred many times before. Take the international satellite navigation sector, for example. The US GPS system long held a dominant position, achieving a near-total market monopoly. During its nearly three-decade monopoly, the U.S. enjoyed absolute control over the field and priced related products at thousands of dollars. However, 2000 marked a significant turning point. That's when China officially launched the development of the BIDA satellite navigation system. Leveraging a series of groundbreaking technologies, including hybrid orbit satellite networking and integrated communications and navigation, the BIDA system not only achieves extremely high positioning accuracy, but also possesses strong anti-interference capabilities. Two years later, the BIDA system completed its Asia-Pacific regional network and entered trial operation, generating a strong market response. The price of US GPS chips plummeted from thousands of dollars to just one dollar. Thus, the US's hegemonic role in satellite navigation has been completely ended by China's superior technological prowess and comprehensive industrial chain. The photovoltaic solar energy sector offers a textbook example. In the early 21st century, photovoltaic technology and high-value-added manufacturing were almost completely monopolized by German and Japanese companies. Against this backdrop, China invested substantial resources, including implementing industrial policies, providing R&D subsidies, and providing grid-side support to independently cultivate a complete photovoltaic industry chain. Today, 
Chinese companies have reduced the cost of solar panels by 90%. Furthermore, China accounts for over 80% of global solar panel production. In contrast, former giants in the field, such as Germany's Qcells and the United States' First Solar, have either been acquired or seen their market share significantly reduced. Despite repeated tariffs imposed by the EU and the US on Chinese photovoltaic products, China's dominant position in the global photovoltaic supply chain has remained unshaken. It is worth noting that China's success extends beyond industrial manufacturing. In the consumer goods sector, domestic smartphones and passenger cars have gradually replaced overseas brands from Europe, the US, Japan, and South Korea in the domestic market and are now exported in large quantities. The trajectory of the chip war may still be uncertain. However, no matter how these variables evolve, Western countries will inevitably face a China that is becoming even stronger due to their own actions. The concerns expressed by American economist David Paul Goldman are, in essence, an early insight into an objective fact. Any form of suppression will only fuel China's growing resolve. China has produced the world's first full-band chip, and now it seems the US has lost another round. As foreign media have stated, the outcome of the chip war is sealed. By concentrating resources, continuously pursuing technological breakthroughs, and keenly seizing market opportunities, China's efforts will ultimately converge into a formidable force, disrupting the existing industrial landscape. From new energy and aerospace technology to high-speed rail and communications equipment, China has repeatedly demonstrated the short-sightedness of the Western strategy of blocking current technologies to stifle future rivals. Therefore, Western countries must confront a reality they have long been reluctant to accept. Blockades and suppression cannot curb the development of a powerful country with systematic innovative capabilities. In fact, the truly challenging issue has never been how to prevent the rise of other countries, but to learn to coexist, compete, and even cooperate with other countries while one is still in a leading position.